have here Janet and John. Oh, story. No. Oh, charming. John goes to a birthday party. John has been invited to a birthday party. John is very excited. There will be cakes and ice cream and balloons. Balloons are John's favorite. John puts on his party clothes. A gold brocade frock coat, a cerise velvet waistcoat, and purple silk trousers. Do you know what a fop is? <laughs> John does. Janet tells John to play nicely at the party and no talking to strange women. John likes strange women, especially with balloons. At the party, there are lots of games to play. Mrs. Bickerdyke is doing some magic tricks. <laughs> Not with the balloons. <laughs> See Mrs. Bickerdyke make things disappear from people's plates. John's friend Alan from Wheelston knows that trick. <laughs> Clever Alan. Hey up, fluffy whiskers, says Mrs. Bickerdyke. Mrs. Bickerdyke is from Yorkshire. See the Hovis commercial. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Bickerdyke, says John. Could you teach me that disappearing trick? Kind Mrs. Bickerdyke shows John. <laughs> oh my goodness. How to make cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. See John and all the other children play charades and sing along to the karaoke machine. Soon it is time to go home. See John run out to meet Janet. Janet says, did you have a nice time at the party, John? John says, yes, it was lovely. There was ice cream, tizer and jelly. Janet says, did you play some games? Yes, says John. Anita Bush did three men in a boat inside two minutes. <laughs> I managed the lady in red in under a minute and Mrs. Bickerdyke showed me how to hide the sausage see Janet turn purple <laughs> see Janet open John's party bag and rub birthday cake into his hair poor John